What's going on guys, Richard Joseph here, coming at you guys again with today's video. Now in today's video, if you're new here, I do 80s and 90s memorabilia, nostalgia, and a little bit of early 2000s. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to be doing a whole video. I went to the thrift store, I got a bunch of stuff from the thrift, I got some packages in from the mail, and it's going to be a good day, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. <music> I got at the thrift and I saw this and I had to pick it up because it was so cheap and I ebayed it immediately and this this thing is going for like 30 to 40 dollars so this just recuperated everything that I spent today um, I got the Shazam you know Funko Pop with the signature and it was signed by the actor who plays Pedro Hoven Armin at the Boom Pop Culture Box Festival and it is guaranteed to be his signature cool I paid five dollars for this and it goes for thirty to forty dollars that's a steal like this is great it's in great condition i actually collect funko pop myself i stopped for a minute because it was getting a little obsessive but yeah i got this at the thrift it has a sticker set that says paid but that could just be peeled off real quick uh but yeah this is cool um then i got a bunch a handful of video games now these were in the like the section where it's a dollar and under so most of these games were 50 cents a piece the most expensive game is an xbox title the rest are ps2 titles but the most expensive game out of everything was this nickelodeon party blast and yeah it looks like an interesting little cool thing uh, the funny thing is let's see if it'll focus it actually says call of duty mon warfare 3 right there let's see if it'll focus oh, come on there you go yeah so <laughs> this is not mon warfare it's Party Blast, Nickelodeon, and it is complete. The manual and the game. But yeah, I just got this because I'm a huge Nickelodeon fan. I want to start collecting more Nickelodeon memorabilia to put in the kiosk here. Kind of replace that uh, My Hero Academia stuff. And maybe replace that too. Um, but yeah, this is cool. So yeah, I got this. This was a dollar, and the rest of the things that I got were 50 cents. And like, look at all this. I got GTA games. All of them complete. In the box and everything is cool. Uh, we have Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Now, I knew this came out for the PS2, but I never owned it on the PS2. I finished it on the PSP because, well, PSP was portable and it was easy to carry around. And PSP is my favorite console, so <laughs> like that. But yeah, this is complete. So it comes with the manual, the game. So let me show you guys. Um, here's the manual, and the manual is cool because it looks like a newspaper, like an old newspaper kind of thing. I'll show you the inside. It, it looks just like a newspaper, like reading articles and stuff. Look at that. For 50 cents, you can't go wrong. It also came with the, you know, the little map slash poster. So that was cool. For 50 cents, really cannot go wrong. I love this game so much. So we got that. It also has the sticker that says I paid it. They put it on everything just so you can leave the store and stuff because there's security at the front. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, look at that, Vice City for the PS2, complete as well. Um, so you guys can see it is complete, so it has the manual for Vice City, the actual guide, and it has the poster for Vice City, and the poster is in actually super good condition, like really great condition. So yeah, there's that. For 50 cents, cannot go wrong. And the last one is Grand Theft Auto 3. Now this is technically the first Grand Theft Auto game that I really got into. I played Grand Theft Auto 2 on the PC, but I didn't really, I just roamed around. But this is the actual game where I actually did story plots and did a lot of, a lot of uh, story mode on it. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto. And yes, it is also complete. So you get the, the manual. This is just a simple manual, it shows you stuff, talks about different uh, stuff, but yeah, it has all this. And it has Midnight Club, Street Racing for the PS2, Smugglers Run 2, it has a lot of promotional stuff, but yeah, came with that. And one interesting thing is it did come with the original poster and a little map, but it also came with the San Andreas map. So it came with the San Andreas map as well, so that was a... A little interesting bonus, um, yeah, San Andreas map. Oh, and one more other thing. It's complete, one extra bid, and yeah, I got these two other things also ended up getting at the thrift. 
because they're interesting. I have no idea what they are, but I, that's why I picked them up. And this was like the most expensive thing out of the whole lot. These were um, two dollars a piece. So this was two dollars, and this was two dollars. But they're these weird Japanese Dragon Ball Z stuff. And if you guys cannot tell, that's my Dragon Ball Z like collection right there. But I love Dragon Ball Z. But I got these. And you guys, I don't know what they are. They look like coasters could be inside of them, but I have no clue. No clue. That's why I bought them so I can unbox them for this video. But yeah, this is going to be interesting because it's Dragon Ball Z Super. So it's not Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. It's Super in it and the red ribbon. And it shows all these. They look like coasters, but I have no idea. But they were $2 a piece and this thrift store has almost all their stuff that's loose inside these little baggies so a lot of their toys are in these baggies um the surprising thing is this store this is japanese this thrift store had a lot of n64 uh super famicon and game boy game boy advance game boy color imports from japan a lot of them but they were a little bit overpriced like the loose cards for the Game Boys were going for ten dollars, and then the full completes in box were going for like twenty twenty five. So I didn't get any of that. I was just getting the deals and steals. Um, but yeah, Dragon Ball Z all around. I have no idea what this is. I'm actually intrigued. You guys can see it's a little box. I'm very very intrigued right now. What? They're not coasters. I thought they were gonna be coasters, right? Oh wow, that is really cool. That is nice. It's like a little, you know, to put your little sauce or something, dipping. But that is cool. Look at Goku, Flying Nimbus. Okay, for two dollars, that is sick. That is really, really nice. I actually do like that a lot. It says Bandai Presto 2017, made in China. But yeah, oh, that is sick. Now I want to open the other one. I did, I thought these were going to be coasters. But yeah, I guess you could use these as coasters as well. But yeah, that is cool. Let's open the other one. Uh, this one is sealed too. But yeah, that is cool. I was not expecting that. That is really nice. I thought it was going to be something cheap, cheaper looking. But that is cool. Alright, let's take a look at this one. This one's a lot more cool. Because it's like Super Saiyan stuff. The other one was a little more like... Dragon Ball Z. This is more like super-ish. So yeah, let's take a look at this one. I'm intrigued. If I can get it out. Okay, it's out. I'll show you guys before I see. What is it? What is it, guys? Is that? Oh, nah. That is cool. I'm not even gonna lie. Vegeta's one of my favorites. One of the most underrated characters. Look at that. Oh, that is cool. That is sick. They were two dollars. I'm still shocked that they were two dollars a piece. These are really cool. Yeah, very, very shocked. Wow. All right. That that alone, that's really cool. I was really surprised. Now we're gonna unbox these right here. We got a couple of uh, mailbox stuff that I got in the mail. I know what's in them, but I don't know which one's what. Uh, but yeah, I think I know what this one is, 100%. This is the only one that's like that, but if this is, is what I think it is, I'm going to be happy. Um, when I was growing up, um, I had the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color. I had those systems, but I also, one time we went out, and I remember my parents bought me this because it was like five bucks. It was extremely cheap, but we were like, there's a, it was like a little pharmacy store by where we lived, but I also sold some old junky video games and I saw this and I'm a huge Street Fighter fan and I wanted to rebuy this for my childhood so it comes repackaged and you guys are gonna see what it is in a minute and yeah it's just a, it's a nice game for what it is but I got it as nostalgia reason but yeah we're gonna unbox it wow it really comes pre-wrapped so wow real wrapping inside nice oh yeah it is this is the Tiger Electronics Street Fighter 2 video game. Wow. That is sick. That right there is sick. I had this growing up. Oh man. I remember my parents bought this for me. I put it 
I put in batteries and I played the shit out of it. I had a Game Boy at the time, but this was cool for me. I know it's just a, a cheap little game and it's not really worth much. Uh, there is a red variant to this and the red variant is a bit more expensive. It's like 60 to $50 used and then it's like 80 to 90 brand new. Uh, but yeah, this is the cheap uh, alternative. This is the one I had. Look at all the box art. Like the art right here made you think that you're playing a better game than it actually is. All the buttons are nice. It's a little bit dirty. It's a little bit scratched. Just the way I like it. Wow, that is so cool. Now I got this off eBay. Uh, I think I paid $5 plus $4.99 shipping. But yeah, that's cool. Uh, that's really, really nice. Yeah, had to get it. Uh, I was looking at other different ones. But this was the cheapest one and the fastest shipping. It says 1988 Tiger Electronics. Wow, that is sick. Look at that. Let me know if you guys grew up with the Tiger Electronics games. Because I grew up with this one. And I also had, um, I think it was golf and bowling. But that's all the ones that I own. So yeah, that's cool. Now let's unbox this one. This one's another one that I'm very excited for. And so is that one. Two great ones. So we'll find out which one's what. But yeah, these two are also from eBay. These are bids. That one I bought straight up. But these two were really cheap, really inexpensive bids. Uh, let me actually grab this right here. And we're going to open it with the little mini pocket knife. You know, get her going. Open that like so. Now get the other side. This pocket knife is really sharp. That's really... That, this, is, this pocket knife is really cheap. I think I paid... Six dollars for it? Five, six dollars for it? But yeah, it opens up really fast and it's really, really sharp. Um, but yeah, really good handy tool. Now let's rip into the box as I really want to open this. Well, it really doesn't want you getting in there, bro. Hey, it's a good thing. The guy really packages there. Um, but I'm trying to get in. So yeah, I'm telling you, this rips like thunder. Wow, it demolished packing tape really fast um, let's put that right there so I don't get no cut but yeah I'll show you guys the interior it really packaged well um, I thought this was something but it's not a lot of foil a lot of wrap okay this is got it all right so I got a bunch of PSP games in this lot uh, let me actually pull up my phone real quick where's my phone so I can verify which one of these lots it is. Because now I can tell you guys. Both of these are PSP lots. I ended up winning for really inexpensive. So we're going to check eBay right now. So I want to see exactly which one of these is. This is... Uh, what's the... Okay, this is the one that came from... I want to actually see the listing. Sorry, guys. This is the one that came... I Chicago, Illinois. The other one came from Hawaii. That one came from Hawaii. This one came from Chicago, Illinois. The first game that's in here is Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. That's a cool game. Never played it, but yeah, it looks very interesting. Uh, once again, complete inbox. Uh, this whole this whole lot was ten dollars, mind you. Um, so we got that for ten. We got uh, cars, Pixar cars. Now I own this growing up. I actually owned it. Uh, yeah, I'm not ashamed to say I did. Um, complete. Looks pretty brand new. Put that right there. SOCOM US Navy SEAL. Complete. Let's go, cuz! My bad, guys. <laughs> that was my bro. Showed up early from school, but where was I? Oh, yeah, I was gonna show you guys. SOCOM US Navy SEAL Fireteam Bravo for the PSP. Once again, complete. Um, I actually grew up with this. This was like one of my first games that I got on the PSP, and it was like $10 at the time. I got it at GameStop. It's a really good game. I love the SOCOM series. I uh, played all of them on the PSP, even Tactics, I think is what it's called. The last one that came out for it. Um, yeah, I got some more PSP stuff here. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, I actually own this already. Um, I got it in my last video that I did. I ended up winning someone's entire PSP collection, so if you have not checked that out, I have a link at the end card at the end of the video, and I have a link down below in the description. 
But yeah, this one is also complete as well. And yeah, I grew up with this one. I used to play it on the bus. I used to play it in the, like recess, in the lunchroom. This was great. And whenever we had like uh, um, uh, those drill things, I would just stand outside and play as well. What else is in here? Ah, uh, a mo uh, 3000. This is the game. I was gonna say it's the movie, but it's actually the game. Uh, also complete. Uh, this one's actually 29.99. Has the GameStop sticker on it. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, I think that's it for this. Yeah, that's it for this. I only got a couple of games in that one. And now we're gonna take a look at this one. This one's a lot more interesting. That one's really cool for $10. Now this one I ended up winning um, for, I think I paid like $15 free shipping for this lot. Uh, so yeah, this lot's a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, wow, this this knife is cuts through it like butter. I'm saying butter, butter, <laughs> like streamlined butter. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh wow, it has a lot of you know packaging is on point. It has a Levi's box in there. Wow, I really he really put it in a Levi's box. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pick out a random game from here. The Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade. Now I own this already. A complete as well, but you can never have. Um, I have another one. Uh, this is complete as well. Cool, cool. I still haven't played that game. Been wanting to, but right now I'm playing a couple other games. Uh, Ratchet and Clank size matters. Uh, I don't think I own this one. Um, cool. We got it right there. Let's pick another random one. Deadhead Fred. Now, I heard a lot about this game. It's been recommended to me a handful of times, but I never ended up buying it or looked into buying it. But now I have it complete. So I guess that's really cool. Right, another random game. Uh, Ape Escape on the... Oh man, I used to play these all the time. I actually have this on my PSP. I have the ISO file. But having a complete one is really cool to add to the collection. Yeah, it's complete, manual, and everything. Even has the... Those, uh, you could win something type of stuff. The U, U PlayStation stuff. That's cool. Um, we got all that. We still got a handful of games in here. What else do we have? Oh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Complete. Uh, been wanting to get into the Kingdom Hearts series. It's just a little complicated. I did look up a video to see where should I start and like go on. Um, but yeah, this is complete as well. you guys this is great for $15 free shipping uh, Ratchet and Clank did I just show this one did I get two copies of Ratchet and Clank yeah I got two copies of Ratchet and Clank size matters so um, is this complete yeah it looks complete all right I have two copies I, don't, I have to look up how much that costs I'll pop it up here as well but I'm gonna be selling one of those copies uh, Rich Racer. Never got into the Rich Racer series. I was more of a Minute Club LA remix type of stuff, but as well complete. Really do like it. Um, is that it? Nope. We got more. We've got Mercury. Oh, Mercury. Yeah, I grew up with this as well. I own this copy. Um, I love this puzzle game. I don't know. It's just intriguing. I really do like it a lot. Complete. Wow, I never owned the complete one. I think I just owned the UMD from GameStop. But having it complete is great. And yeah, I own that. Uh, there's one more game in here. Uh, Luminous Puzzle Fusion. Uh, I own this. I actually have one complete over there. But now we have two completes. Uh, yeah, such a great game. Uh, I might actually sell this copy. Uh, if it's worth it. We'll see how much it is online. But yeah, that's all that I ended up getting in today's haul for the week. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the channel. Any other stuff you guys would like to see. But without further, that's it. That's all that I got. Let me know what you guys liked about the whole haul. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. It'll pop up here. And yeah, I do 80s, 90s stuff. So And early 2000s. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys. I am out.